And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a double pack you are seeing this weekend. This Saturday will be the first time this weekend. Tilburg Trappers and the Black Dragons from Erfurt are playing against each other. Referee Ramon Stekins beckons the players and we are ready to get this underway. Face off stolen there by the Black Dragons. Vogel are on the puck. Sees a shooting lane, goes yeah. for it, oh. and it's in a beautiful slapper by Giovanni Vogelar, and that is goal number one. A power play goal for Giovanni Vogelar. Vogelar uh, has these opportunities often and uh, uses those when he sees uh, when he sees it. And this time he smacks it in. So a little bit of the penalty for Airford is deducted. And there are two minutes left of power play. Four seconds left of power play. Rina on trying one more shot. One second left of power play. It crossed the line, but no goal from the referee. A minute and 50 on power play for the Airford Dragons. Ooh, in front of the goal, puck still loose for Keel, shovels it away. Max Ehrman's on the puck. Gets it to the slot area. Kevin Bryce to try. Shovels, but the pads are too big. Schmidt makes a long shot. Fisher tries to get it, but now it dies. Rito shipping now on the puck. Tries to make a shot, and he goes over the shoulders of Mayra. So Rito shipping makes goal number one for Black Dragons. Effort. Beautiful there, um, an amazing sharp angle try where Meyerdress just has his shoulders too low. Uh, he, of course, he, he can't help it because he tries to cover all the spots he has, but uh, there was still one hole open. Number seven, Rito Schuping sees it, and he makes it a tie game. Trying to look for a man, he reaches Vogelar. Vogelar is chopper towards the left. Wool van Gorf tries again, uh, but now Beach crashing over the blue line, trying to find his man. Interception by Tilburg. Slammed down on the head as Hermans. It was just really awkward. But a big tumble there on the center ice. Excuse me, uh, in the Tilburg D zone. Puck is loose. Rebound picked up there by Erford. They couldn't do anything with it. Fisher tries again. Another shot on golf from the same point. Meyerdress down low, so he has to be very careful now. Smart move. Verkiel now on the puck, sees Hofflin, doesn't go for it, shovels it, tries to shovel it around the goalie. Verkiel still has the puck, shoots it, and it's in! It's number 13 with a goal completely on his own. He tried to shove it, shovel it around Kessler. Kessler doesn't have the eye on the puck. And as such, Verkiel still has it, sees that opportunity and gets it over the skates of Kessler. And that is goal number two for Tilburg. Puck still loose, Schuping tries to make a shot, padded away by Meyerdrez. 26 seconds left to power play. Victor Beck finds Kyle Beach. Beach makes a shot and it's in there. A cool response by Kyle Beach. He knows he made the shot, and he knows it's in a power play goal for Erfurt. And again, this is a tie game. Two on Tilburg's side, and two on Erfurt's side. Now this is a perfect matchup. Nino Essel's getting it on his stick. They try again, puck's still loose, and Kessler has to jump on it to stop this play. Spister on the puck. Puck in front of the net, a shot over. Oh, that was a great opportunity. But Erford has it. Oh, the blue line. Arnold is Bosas. Three defensemen and Bosas, but he gets down, so there's a delay penalty for Tilburg. Cashed in now. Bosa's in the crease now, shoots it, and it's in, it's over the line. Number 33 makes goal number three for Erfurt. So those, that team, of course, is ecstatic. 
What a waste of game time for Tilburg there, where they get uh, off the ice altogether. And as such, that is an inclusive bummer for Tilburg, where they are now down one goal versus the Black Dragons. Intercepted by Tilburg, so they were away to the race. As Hoffland going over the blue line with the Hermans. Hermans gets the puck and shovels it around Kessler. That is goal number three for Tilburg. A beautiful recovery there by uh, Hermans by not getting it completely on the blade. Then he did get it on the lopsided side and he shovels it around Kessler. So again, this is a tie game between Tilburg and Erfurt. A short-handed goal, which is actually the second short-handed goal for tonight for Tilburg. And there's 32 seconds left of the Erfurt power play. A line change has occurred for Erfurt, so it's now Fisher, Beach, and Denner on the ice. Fisher going towards the net, tries to shovel it around Meyerdress. Now over the line is Van Gorp around the net. Will he make a wrap around it? Kevin Bryce that makes a beautiful shot from the point, but it doesn't work. Gulda now in center in the slot area, tries to get around Meyerdress. It's not in, and it goes over the shoulder of Meyerdress, and this match is over. Erford wins with a goal and goal in overtime by Peter Gulda, number 69. My address is not happy with that. He wanted to get that puck out of midair, but couldn't catch it. And that concludes tonight's match.